Hey again, it's Mark from One Stop and Ian from Gas. Um, and we're here today to talk to you and explain how to calculate uh, extraction, intake and outtake, and the science behind it. So uh, we're going to hand over to Ian on this one. So Yeah, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to use this tent uh, as an average and we're going to tell you roughly how to calculate the cubic area of this tent. So we're going to do the length times the width times the height. This is a 2.4 by roughly 1.2 by 2 metres tent. So what you do, you do the 2.4 times the 1.2, which gives you 2.8 meters. Cube that by times it by the height. So it sounds a bit complicated. So what you're gonna do is length times width times height, and that gives you around about 5.76 cubic meters. What you wanna do, you wanna exchange all this air uh, once every minute. Once, a, once every minute, yeah. Once every minute, so you've gotta times it by 60. So that gives you the, the air exchange. So all you do, you do 5.76 times 60, which gives you 345 cubic meters an hour. So basically, we will move 345 cubic meters through this tent in an hour's time. When you try to calculate the intake, what you do with that one, you say, right, so I've got three, four, five, six going out. What I need to do is take roughly 25% off that. The easiest way to take 25% off is times it by 0 0.75 and that will give you a perfect balance. So you've got 25% less coming in than going out. Yeah. yeah, you can do that in multiple ways, have a bigger extraction and a smaller intake, that will cover you by, by having less coming in and more going out. It's, it is um, prudent to say here that that calculation is going to give you a cal a, an air movement that is going to push in its limit all the time. It's yeah. like the fan running at maximum all the time, isn't it? So yeah, so that's perfect conditions. So that's what we recommend. But that means the fan's running at full speed, constantly to get that amount of air out of there. So what we always say is go one or two sizes bigger, yeah. so that your fan is running at fifty to seventy percent on full when you're trying to extract all that hot air. One, it'll be quieter because you're moving more air through a, through a bigger hole so yeah. it actually reduces the noise and you're just basically not running your fan at full speed constantly yeah you want to set up your grow room with a little bit of a play in the uk we're quite lucky that nine times out of ten we've got sort of moderate temperatures we do get the odd spike every now and again and if you don't sort of cater for that in your extraction and your intake and your outtake you, you, you're going to be fighting a losing battle to start with and you're just never going to make any headway are you so no, yeah no. Always, always go a little bit higher than what's uh, what the calculation says bear in mind as well what you're going to have to do when you've got these calculations is you're going to have to look at the fan specs fan, and ideally the pressure and the fan movement of fans once you put filters on to allow you to choose the right size fan um, um, and filter combination for you guys um, because otherwise it does, just doesn't work with just out taking into consideration the pressure loss on these. No, a lot, a lot of people use the, what it, the cubic capacity of the fan as a reference, again, on how much air to move. What they forget is basically a, a filter creates a lot of pressure on the fan and also the ducting, elbows, things like that at the other side. So what we always do, if you look at any of the system air fans that we sell, they match perfectly to, uh, to the filters. So when you, your fan again says 1,000 cubic metres, with a filter on it, it might be doing 700. So that's the, that's the maths you use. You, you, you're gonna be taking 700 cubic meters out of this tent uh, with a filter on. Without the filter on, obviously you're doing a thousand, but always always do the calculations when you've got the filter attached. Yeah. If you do want more clarity on that, guys, please pick up the phone to us guys at One Stop. Um, we do, all the information's laid on the website really easy, but if you're unsure, give us a call and we can talk you through this really, really simply. Um, again, if we did talk about over-specking fans, um, we would recommend the use of fan speed controllers to help balance this as well and give you that control. Um, be careful when you're buying a fan speed controller, though some do allow you to have balances and, and create negative pressure, some don't. Um, and in those cases, you might need to use a, um, a bigger intake and a smaller outtake. If you've got a balancer, you sometimes can pair the two up, but then you've got to be a little bit intelligent in terms of tuning the fan speed controller as well.